It's iPad Day. We were talking about it in the news, and uh, Julian Sanders from London Drugs with us today to talk about some of the extra things. Last week, we were talking about the iPad specifically and talking about some of the great things we, we, uh, that, it, that it can do. Um, of course, we couldn't tell you that it was coming for sure, but of course, we knew it was coming. But we are talking about, first of all, let me just get right to this. I understand this is one of the most popular items right here, that, yep. uh, yeah, and it is the stand. Yep, it's surprising. <laughs> uh, basic, people are using this to convert it to um, basically something that they could use like a computer. Sure. Because um, they can use it to hold up in any orientation. Sure. We'll just turn it quick here. So you can leave your cable kind of hanging out of the bottom, mm -hmm. plug it into the wall, and then you can display it like a photo frame. Okay. Well, that, and that's the wild thing too, is as you say, any configuration and uh, really the fact that it's portable and people are able to uh, to use it as a, uh, as a as a home computer. Yep. Now, speaking of home computer stuff, well, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the keyboard because uh, the keyboard here. I'm just going to move it out to here. There we go. Put it right there. There we go. And there's the keyboard and. Basically, you can use it just like you would a laptop, um, mm -hmm. rather than type on the screen, which mm -hmm. is quite comfortable on the iPad. Okay. Uh, from my personal experience, this dock has a, uh, a charger port on the mm -hmm. back okay. and an uh, audio out, so you can mm -hmm. leave it plugged into speakers, mm -hmm. listen to your iTunes while answering your emails, uh, makes it all very uh, quick and easy. Do you see this replacing what some people might have in their own homes, or just something that sort of they, you'd have it in a different room while your main computer would be in the, the, the computer room? That's what I would. Uh, that's what I would kind of think people would be doing right now. Yeah is uh, kind of putting it on an end table somewhere small mm. that they wouldn't usually have a computer. Okay. Uh, handy to dock it, charge it. Things like that, okay. Let's talk a little bit about, for those people who need to be styling, um, this is just a, a wraparound? You got it, yeah. That's a, uh, the, basically it's a hard shell back. There's several okay. different styles. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one on the iPad here. Mm -hmm. uh, they're available in different colors and consistencies. Okay. Um, I personally like the ones made okay. of Lexan. They're very strong. Um, so it's a type of almost bulletproof material. Okay. Um, that almost bulletproof. Almost. Don't be trying this at home, kids. So you can bend it, you can try to warp it, and it doesn't okay. break. So right. it's quite nice that way, and it reforms right away. Um, they're color styles, okay. fit your personality. Sure. Um, you can customize it. Everybody's got mm -hmm. the same looking iPad. And now, uh, now, what do we got here? Because this, this, this looks to me like you know something wonderfully patriotic, but what do we have here? That's a jealous skin. So mm -hmm. it's, a, uh, it's a very thick sticker, basically, that you apply to the back. So mm -hmm. uh, it, you don't scratch your iPad, mm -hmm. you scratch your sticker. Okay. You can also change it so you can color code them. There's oh, cool. many different styles available. Now, speaking of which, what... I, I know this, this is, you know, it, it looks great. What do we have to do to take care of this screen? Because I would think it's probably easily scratched. Absolutely, yeah. It's a, it's a shiny piece of glass, mm -hmm. so there's several different options. Uh, there's the basic uh, anti-glare screen protectors, so mm -hmm. it helps with the light. Um, so this, again, would get scratched. You can peel it off and replace it. Mm -hmm. um, I have a um, experience with a few different brands. There's a Rapsol and an Invisishield. Mm -hmm. uh, Rapsol is the stronger protection. Mm -hmm. Invisishield is a little bit more uh, flexible, and mm -hmm. it's replaced a little bit more more often. Um, so uh, there's many different options for protecting that front so it doesn't get all scratched up when you're carrying it around. All right. So if you've got an iPad, these are great ways to take care of it and, and use it uh, for good, not evil. And so uh, Julian, thank you so much. Always a pleasure and Thanks, uh, happy iPad day. <laughs> all right. We'd also like to remind you about